What's up guys, it is the next day. I'm just out the back garden just to have a look and I'm gonna turn on the whacker and just give this area a blast over as it has been raining all day today. So the ground is nice and damp. So it should compact down a little bit. I'm just gonna do this section here. You can have a look at this section now. It's fairly loose. It's really nicely and compacted. It's still a little bit soft here where my foot is, but once I get that compacted down, I'm just gonna do up to here and down and up to here and have a look at how it goes. Now I have to say that turned out pretty decent. It still needs to go down another little bit. I do have like a little divot over here, so I'm gonna add more. I do have about half a ton there. I can shovel in places over here, but I know for a fact that over there is a little bit too high, so I'm gonna rake all that back all the way. That half hasn't been done, so you can see the difference. This is all compacted, as you can see, and over there is not. So you can see it's a bit wavy all over the place. There are tracks from the dumper when I was bringing it in. I had to maneuver around. So there is plenty here to rake around to get it all smooth. Then I will get a piece of wood, the length of the garden, and put a level on it just to see how bad it is. I do need it to run slightly that way just because there's drains there and there's drains that side. The plan is I have been onto a company. My budget is running low. So the main thing I need to get done is this concrete pad. To do it myself, it's going to cost me about 800 euro in supply or I can pay a company to come in I'll set out the wood and the framework of where it needs to be poured he keeps pooping everywhere that needs to stop but to do the framework and they will pump it in with the 4000 psi concrete that I do need it's better than the bag stuff with the sand and the pebbles so it'll be stronger it'll be pumped in and it can all be leveled all at the same time where if I do it myself it's going to take me probably about three weeks because I'd have to do it in sections with a mixer yeah I'm happy with how it's turning out now I am going to do another bit of whacking later on but yeah we'll get back to whacking it another day maybe tomorrow and I'll show you the results once it's all whacked and raked around and ready for the concrete. Optimus. So now the MR2 looks better, has a few stickers on it. She's taxed, as you can see, 56 euro. Because she is 92, nice new reg plates. So yeah, she's looking good. New wheels are good, turbo spoiler looks sweet on it. New sticker on the back, sticker here, and turbo exhaust. So loads more planned for this car. So yeah, make sure you're sticking along for updates. gonna give this a rest for a little bit but she's looking all right needs a little bit extra over here in that corner and over there but this is looking really good I'm really happy I need to take some out there because the concrete will be going down from five inches here 
all the way down to three inches down there so that needs to meet up with down here so we can drive in i don't want to be driving in on a big ramp because the cars that i do own and do build are low also up here needs to meet this path as well and i am going to be doing drains from here all the way over to that drain so yeah you can't really tell from this angle but you can see it is starting to flatten out though so i will spend a full day tomorrow doing that no point recording it i might do a bit of a time lapse just to get it all done i also need to get the sledgehammer out and i need to knock out the rest of this foundation off the wall that needs to go flat so we can drive in on it this is what i was talking about here this footpath needs to be cleared off all the way up here because it does need to meet up with that so yeah we're looking good on the whole whacking down the stones and the area is absolutely massive i love it so yeah guys that's it for the update for today i'm going to leave it at that go in feed the children because apparently i have to feed children so <laughs> yeah more updates during the week i do have the whacker until thursday which is in two days i have more hardcore out there to add to this to whack it down and then we're gonna get the planks to build the frame we're gonna just build a big square frame and then put an x in it and level off bit by bit and then when it hardens take the frame out fill in the joints with concrete and then cut lines in it with a console for expansion so you always have to cut expansion joints in your concrete pad because if you don't it will crack and it will fall apart so yeah guys thanks for watching hit that subscribe button if you haven't already give the video a like and share it comment as well really means a lot i really appreciate it thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one and don't forget guys with builds like this and builds with cars houses anything you're building be dedicated keep up with the work and i shall see you in the next one peace out